Mm. But see, I'm gonna stop you right there. What fucked me up was watching my uncle and my auntie being married and having that that that, that family thing, and then watching my coach and and his wife having that family thing and listening to the R. Kelly's, the, the right. Jagged Edge yeah. and the Genuine. You don't have to work no more. I'm working at FedEx, man. Come on, man. Yeah, you're going to tell a grown woman, but, you know, some women want to grow with your ass, but now that I know, like, it's, do women want to grow because they do? But it's like now I was like, okay, let me have other type of income so I can put myself in a position Right. To take care of my family and shit. I'm coming out. You don't have to work no more making thirteen dollars <laughs> an hour. Thirteen dollars an hour. Stop working. <laughs> no, nah, she stayed. Yeah. <laughs> she stayed at work. She like I was just bro. I was just having it, just Try, watching bro. what I. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You you know being a man. If we can, if we could, we all would probably. You know whatever you want to do. If you now if you want to grow because of. You can't tell nobody shit if they just want to grow. If a woman want to start her own business, yeah, she going to do it. Yeah, but yeah. we basically just saying, look, I got you. Hey, hey, yep, yep, do yep. what you want to do. If you want to do that, cool. But yep. I'm the man. I got you. You know what yep. I'm saying? So I feel that your head was in the right place doing that. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Just, you know, we, we don't we don't know it all. At that exactly. age, bro, um, man, bro, you was hitting on a lot of shit. Um yeah, so that whole child support shit, man, yeah. starting off, I was on child support at 18. But I had to pay $100 for my son. Yeah. I didn't want to pay that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was a lot to me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It was yeah, a lot yeah, then, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, young nigga, I don't, $100 was a lot then. I ain't right. paying that shit. Man, that shit, man, went in the ridge and everything. Like, it was some thousands in the ridge. That's just how long it, off, off $100. Looking at it now, uh, I was just on some straight dumb bullshit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have yeah, paid yeah. that hundred dollars over and over again. Time, you know what I'm saying? But it was just, you know, young nigga coming up, uh, just don't know better. You don't know any better, bro. So yeah. I feel you on yeah. all that shit. Um, a lot of people say, you know, a lot of people watch this and be like, you know, that child support shit a scam and all that. Man, look, niggas down here in Memphis, we don't know the cheat code. Your ass on child support, you on child support. You know what I'm saying? That's support. all we know. And I ain't got time to be trying to fight these folks about some shit that, you know, hey, man. And, and, the, and another thing is, I really ain't against child support. I really ain't. That's just how I feel. You said something about, like, pretty much you was a good dude, why you had to be on child support. And I get it. I felt the same way. Yeah. And... Maybe we shouldn't have been on child support, but you know, you sometimes you just got some ain't shit motherfuckers out here who ain't doing nothing for their kids, bro. They ain't doing nothing, and at the end of the day, it's about these kids. It's really like you you could be a child, you could be 18, 19, and have a child, shit, young, just whatever. You have a child, it ain't about you no more. It's right. about that child. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can still be a child, but it ain't about you no more. It's about that child you had. So fuck all that. You got to take care of it by any means. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, that's why I say I ain't with it, bro. I could be here. I could be here two hours with my youngest kids. And I'd be ready to put her ass on child support. We together. <laughs> <laughs> and we together. It's just it's so much going into Man, just a child, bro, waking up with him, getting you, if you had your son with I I know you understand it. Yeah, you gotta get them ready for school, all that shit. They get sick, you gotta take them to the uh hospital, all that. Yeah. Bro, it's a lot, man. Raising a child is a lot and the shit can be frustrating. So I uh, um it ain't so much as as a money game, but I do have light bill, I do have a mortgage, right. I do gotta put food in this motherfucker, I gotta gas take them back and forth to school and nine times out of, out of ten this is mainly the single mom doing all this so i can understand the frustration why i'm out fucking on some at the club i don't get off free like that right you know what i'm saying at least i don't suppose to the least i could do is finance the situation you know right, what i'm saying that's right, that's right. that's if i ain't doing shit else you know what right. i'm saying so i ain't totally against that shit but yeah, we going in right now. Like, comment, subscribe. Milk.
No shake. We going in with my boy T Dot. T Dot is definitely gonna be my uh co-host right yeah, now. He's stopping in, special guest. We getting into it. We still new to the the channel, the podcast world. So hey man, y'all wanna know us, we gotta give it to you. So again, like, comment, subscribe. This is the Milk No Shake Podcast. Um, let's keep going with it, man. Let's keep going.